Engineering is something which we actually encounter every day in our lives. Engineering is the science of solving problems. The translation between scientific theory and ideas into something tangible and real. It's using what you know to come up with new and creative solutions. At the University of Sydney, the Faculty of Engineering and Information Technology is uh, a very broad faculty. We cover a range of engineering disciplines. We have uh, aeronautical and space engineering. Did you know that when the Concorde is flying that it actually stretches by a few inches? And then when it comes back down to land it shrinks back to its original size? We have mechanical and mechatronic engineering. Before I did this course, I didn't know that mechanical engineers could actually design, build and test a part like this brake rotor before it's actually ever produced. Uh, there's civil engineering. You get to build these massive structures. Chemical and biomolecular engineering, electrical and information engineering, and information technologies. IT has penetrated so many different industries. There are people in stock markets using computers to model insider trading, to predict the spread of diseases such as swine flu. This all comes under the umbrella of uh, our faculty and it uh, gives you an idea of just a broad range of um, areas that um, the students can find themselves in. Our faculty is well known as being a very strong uh, research intensive faculty. We have some of the the uh, world's leading edge researchers, uh, the people who are developing the new technologies. I chose Sydney University for Mechatronic Engineering because they have the Australian Centre of Field Robotics, um, which is the only place in Australia where you can study and not really specialise in factory automation. So the only place you could study with a broad range of degrees and not be locked in. We often run courses where the students aren't just sitting in a lecture theatre listening to somebody talk. They're actually doing a design project themselves, maybe actually building something with their hands, working in groups. You also want to have fun. You want to meet people, you want to learn things, like have new experiences. I chose Sydney Uni because it offered this um, fantastic degree where I could combine biomedical engineering with medical science, which is what I'm doing and, and really love. Yeah, students, if they come here, will have a wide range of opportunities, not just within engineering, but also combining it with other fascinating areas of study in the university. Chemical engineering at City University in particular in the past five years has had a 100% graduate employment rate, which I think is fantastic. I want to be a researcher when I finish my degree. My dream is to one day actually own my own engineering uh, company. There's a wide range of jobs that a graduate could expect upon them graduating from engineering. Not only could they get a job in their traditional engineering discipline, but we find that many of our graduates now are finding good jobs in many other areas in society. We're looking for solutions such as water treatment for third world countries. We're also looking at climate change issues, so renewable energy project management, design, defence applications, field robotics through to surveillance for weeds. In the financial sector we have quite a few engineers uh, finding positions. A laboratory, say, as a tissue engineer, or you could be in mechanical device design. You can design things with like microchips in computers and there's even like satellite communications. Jobs are as varied as the components of an aircraft. It's all about looking at the world and saying how can we make this easier for ourselves? How can we improve the way we do things and the way we live? You can really change the world. 